is also why we pay attention while we're driving. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. But when there's a huge pothole like the size of freaking the Grand Canyon in the middle of the road, Bruh. you don't want to swerve. That's what freaking happens. This is where our taxpayer money is going to the freaking fat Grand Canyon potholes. Just Boyfriend of the year right here. Has all my luggage. Walking through a parking lot because he had to bring me to Ulta. TSA threw away all of my hair products, all of my BB, all of my Red Ken, and all of my Kenra. But it's okay, we got nice little travel sizes. I only cried for like five minutes. Stop the cap. How long did I cry for? Solid <laughs> what? You don't understand, babe. I didn't want to throw my trusty hair products away. We're gonna go to Panera and have some soup and then finally go to our destination. It's been such a morning. We leave at four and we're like, we're kind of always running a little late. And today we were not. We were very prompt. We wanted to chill in the Starbucks parking lot for an hour. No, I'm saying, okay, so we finally, like we are on time. And then on our way, we got a flat tire and that didn't stop us. We were still on time. And then we had unexpected traffic and that still didn't stop us when we were on time. But just so much just freaking going on. And then we finally get to my destination where my cousin was gonna take us to the airport. And we weren't late necessarily. It was, I don't think we were late for our flight. They weren't even like, there were still people waiting there to board and stuff. It was just the whole issue of them throwing out all my stuff. Yeah, TSA. All right, I gotta go eat, bye. <laughs> Ew. So when we were ordering this, she's asking me if I wanted to get like a bread bowl or like soup. And I said, no, I needed like pizza. I needed something that's gonna soak up the alcohol and the guy next to us just starts cracking up. He loved that one. You could tell he was about it too. Hit it. Cheers. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Cool little drink. The boys. <laughs> we got two drugs and a half. Hey, we're here. Boys. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> hey, boys. All right, baby. Because we baby. are getting stronger. Oh, hey, how's the new training program going? Good, man. Uh, it's just kind of annoying because the dump truck that I now have. Because. Um, Who's that? After he lost your head. Have you seen the hey, He's in the bathroom. Say something, Bob. appreciate you guys more than you ever. Ever, ever now. Uh, yeah, Bobby's got it. Bobby won. Yeah!
Brought the Portland weather back with us, huh? Let's go back inside. It's freaking cold. You guys saw the rain out there. I feel like I brought the Portland rain with me, but still had to get moving, still had to get going. And honestly, guys, I have not fueled or hydrated as I should have. I literally woke up at 143.5 today. That's four pounds down than like what I'm staying at maintenance wise. So I did not like that. And I didn't want to have like a low glycogen, low fuel to workout. So I still want to get moving. So I'm doing today's active rest day workout, which is Monday, fueling up today gonna feel good sleeping I caught up on my sleep and then I'm going to be hitting my normal workouts throughout the week and whenever I get tired I'm gonna save my more isolation bodybuilding style still CrossFit but it's more just accessory isolation stuff for that like day where I'm feeling like I need a rest day but still a full week of training just today is gonna be my active rest day workout got moving got sweating got a ton of blood in the legs I got a big old sweat going on so that's my game plan moving forward after a weekend of drinking as you guys know I don't drink very often very very rarely and I did enjoy myself this weekend but I still stay on top of my hydration I had a party aid which is an electrolyte salt hydration supplement so I did take that and last night I got an amazing sleep and then I also caught up on sleep throughout the day today but got moving back to normal schedule and yeah guys that's a quick short little rundown of my game plan moving forward what you guys can do if you decide to have alcohol again I only have it like maybe two to three times a year and if that and throughout that I maybe have like two to three drinks per day if we're like doing a full day thing or like a night two to three drinks per night and after every like drink and a half I chug three cups of water. So that's how I still have a good time. I don't feel like shit in the morning. I don't feel like killing myself. So that's my game plan tips. All right, guys. So got a little package from people over at Victory Grips. So stay tuned for this unboxing slash video. Actually, I'm going to give you guys this unboxing because there hasn't been much fitness or anything in this video. So just a quick little preview. We got some grips. So I'm gonna let you guys know uh, two different types of grips that they sent over to review and test out. But also I'm kind of upset because my actual order that I ordered to review on other grips as well says it was delivered Thursday, the day I left, and they're not here. So that sucks. But at least I got these two in to try out and test. And also you guys have seen the hype everywhere. The Airwave Performance Mouthpiece. This is gonna be a dedicated video on its own, in-depth review, test out, workouts, etc. So be on the lookout for that. As well as a dedicated grip review video. You'll see these throughout the vlogs, but a dedicated review video on the grips, on how to fit them, my favorites, the opinions, etc. So stay tuned for that. Lots of exciting stuff coming. Yeah, guys, thank you guys for coming along the journey, for supporting me. Yeah, Oregon, check out new little stickers to the sticker collection that'll be going on the trusty iPad as summer fading now. So yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're almost at a thousand subscriber, guys, and I really want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So like, share, comment, share it with your grandma, your friend, teacher, coaches, anything to help your boy out. For any clothes, guys, virusinternational.com, Coach Shashi 10. It helps me out so much, guys. And thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Breakfast Club CTG, we have to speak.